Hello guys, how's it going? Alex Grampion here. I hope you're well. Today I got an exciting video and I'm really excited about this. I got a main best tool for that group cars. So my VW, Audi, C Skodas. Uh, this is the best tool for them. I've been waiting for so long to introduce this tool to you guys. Uh, so it's called VCDS and this one is supplied by Marshalls Industrial. Uh, so they're a really good team by the way. I would like to thank them as well for providing us with these tools. Uh, they got a few different models which I explain um, during the video anyway. Uh, so this is a genuine kit and they've also been really helpful and they've done an exclusive offer for us, provided with 5% discount that I'm going to provide in my description below. Uh, so on the first 50 orders you'll get your 5% off which does help to be honest. Um, so yeah, today in the video I will show you how to install the tool which is pretty easy to be honest and how to use it as well. And I will be providing you with more videos in the future on obviously fixing cars and showing you how to use it as well if you're interested. So don't forget obviously to subscribe, like the video and comment below. So just to let you know guys straight away, this is the genuine tool because there's a lot of copies on eBay and etc. And if you have got the copy, unfortunately, then this video probably ain't going to help you a lot because once you get to the installation or the first update, it shuts your tool down and it's not going to work. All right, so to let you know straight away, you will need a laptop to install the program, but I'm pretty sure everyone have got one. It doesn't need to be a high spec one. I actually bought this one for 300 quid on the uh, Amazon and it's a really brilliant laptop. I use it for my work and obviously going to be using it for the program for the VCDS. Uh, so let me just open it up for you and show you what you get in the pack. Obviously, that's the paperwork with the warranty, etc. from where I got it from, Marshalls Industrial. So thank you very much once again. Uh, this is the really important bit, the installation manual. And you also have got videos on the USB stick here anyway, and obviously the installation file. If you haven't got a USB stick, don't worry. You can go to Rostec website and they got the latest software there and all the installation stuff on there as well. Uh, so really helpful. Thank you very much once again for uh, providing us with this product and all the videos. Um, I would like to mention straight away to you, if you're stuck with something on your car or you can't get to some function or you need a code or etc. Please do go on Google and search for Ross Tech and they have got a lot of actually repair steps and diagnosis steps on there which are really helpful and they're always uploading new videos on there anyway. So they're really helpful uh, to check if you're new to this um, and yeah please do make sure that you go actually to the Ross Tech ones. So to carry on this is obviously your of the socket that you plug into the car, uh, you will need it and the cable that goes in it uh, to install the software. You'll plug it, it will light up in the USB. And obviously, if uh, you got a USB stick, then plug it in, and all the installation uh, software, the videos, and the manual is on here already. So that's what we're going to do now. Right, so as you can see, it opens up straight away. Uh, the first two are the videos, so you got the registration process and you got the update process if you want to update the tool, which I recommend doing every month. Uh, it comes with all the new updates for newer cars and etc. and the bug fixes. Uh, you got obviously the PDF files for the installation as well, and then you got the main installation file there, which we're going to go ahead and install now. So my one got 23.3.1, but obviously when you buy your tool later on, you might actually have a newer one. So we don't need the installation instructions, but you can open it up and it takes you through all the steps. So I'm just going to quickly load up and I do advise having the Wi-Fi on uh, so you can actually do the online installation and registration of the tool as well. So we're just going to go ahead. So I'm going to install the USB drivers as well. Right, so there it is. Um, just click next. And we're going to install the drivers as well. And that's that. It's all finished. So we're going to run it. So it already comes up straight away with the message that it's out of date. Uh, so we can go straight away to the website and download the up to date one. There's a couple of different ways of doing it. You can do it straight through the website or you can actually do it through the options there. 
So if you go to the options, once you got to here, you got check for the updates, but for that obviously you will need to register your tool first. So if you go on the website, you have got download VCDS software. And obviously you need to choose the correct one that you got, uh, which obviously you know which one you ordered, but you can look at the socket and all the information is there. And then obviously just match it to the one you have got there. So it's my V2. So you got all the information about the latest download and you also got a video on how to install obviously the software there. So you're just going to go on the download. So here we are, I finished the download. Uh, so just press yes and we don't need the instruction manual. So you're just going to start installing it all. So it basically goes through the whole installation process again. So yeah, it finished updating. So I'm just gonna open it up again. At this stage, we don't really need the USB stick anymore. So I can unplug that and we will need to plug in um, the actual unit. So as you can see, at the back, you have got the connector. And obviously just plug in into your USB port and the light should come on. So now we have to go to the options. You can test it. It gives you the instructions all the time anyway, which is really helpful. So it should come up that interface has been found, hex v2, so that's all good. So just press OK. Uh, but obviously, uh, because this is the first time I'm using it, it has to be registered. So we're going to go into the config. And for this, you have to have a Wi-Fi uh, connected. So it's checking for the updates. So this is where you can do download and update as well. So we go into the registration. Uh, so you have to agree with the rules. Let me just get the registration info quickly. Uh, so you have to tick the box that you understand the rules. Uh, you have to fill up all the details in here and then with your email obviously and submit the registration. Um, so obviously I'm going to fill it all up, submit it, then you get the email. Um, then you have got the code and then you will have to uh, get the code in there and to confirm it and then it will be registered. Right, so I filled it all up. I'm um, sorry for covering, just to cover the details. Uh, so sending the information now. And you should get an email now with the code. There you go, so it takes, it, it says hello, 20 minutes for the system to process the request. And you should receive an email with the instructions to finalize the registration once the request has been approved. So just press OK. Right, so I've copied the code from the email and I have to press finalize registration and you should get a message that it's all been done. As you can see, customer registration is successful. So then if you want, you can go to the updates and check for the updates, but obviously we've done that already. So we're gonna just shut that down and go back here and do the test once again with our tool obviously plugged in. Uh, so it come up as it's found and everything's installed and it comes up with the status firmware update required so that's the other update they can do on the actual firmware uh, so just press ok and like i say you can go and do the update after you've done the test uh, you do need to save it and at this stage it should be saved and ready to be used so today guys just a demonstration i'm going to use my audi 3 2016 model just to show you obviously how the tool works Right, so like I said, we're all plugged in to the vehicle. So I'm gonna do the auto scan. So the ignition is on. Um, so it should detect it automatically. 
You just start it, there you go, it found all the information, you're just going to go through it and start doing a full scan on your vehicle to find any fault codes or etc. So this might take a while, but obviously it will scan every single ECU and every single sensor and everything you got on the vehicle. Guys, once again, I do recommend buying the genuine stuff um, like I've indicated in the link in the description below. And yeah, don't forget you have got the 5% off uh, if you use my code. Uh, so once again, thank you, Marshalls Industrial, uh, for providing us with this, please, and the discount as well. If you got any more questions, or if you got, want any specific video, obviously there's plenty of it on the um, Rostec. But if you want me to do any specific video for you on summing on the Audi or Scirocco, etc., I'll be more than happy to do it using this tool. Uh, just obviously to show you how to use it and what you can do with it. So it's almost done. Like I said, depending on the year of the car, there's plenty of things that you need to scan because each car obviously got a different amount of things. Uh, so. Lucky for me, I only have got one fault on the central electronics. Uh, so if you scroll down, and obviously you can generate the report, you can print it, you can save it, uh, which is what I'm going to do now straight away. So you put your license plate in there. So I'm just going to type that in. And obviously if you're using it as a workshop, it comes up with the mileage when you scanned it, with the bin number, and you can put obviously your job card number there as well. So you're just going to save it there. So it's saved, you can view it again, show location, and print it. Um, so that's fine, I've saved it for the future reference. So if you scroll down, if you've got any fault codes, you'll come up as red. And as you can see, that's the fault code that I've got. So it comes up with one fault found, control circuit, for fuel tank flap. And I have got actually an issue with the fuel uh, tank flap. Sometimes it doesn't work, it's getting sticky. So I suspect that's what the fault is. So if you want to clear it, you just go to clear and it will scan everything. Well, it will clear all the fault codes and scan everything again to make sure there's no more fault codes. So after you've done some repair, um, so that cleaned it, you go and start it again. And obviously I haven't used it, so the fault shouldn't be there. But probably once I've used it and it got stuck again, it will come back again. But it's the same with the engine faults. Once you've done the repair, just plug in, clear it, and obviously, hopefully, once you start the car, it's not going to come back. There's also plenty of things that you can check with the live data, and obviously, all the settings that you got. There's just so much to do on this tool. And for some users, I know it might look slightly difficult to use, but trust me, once you use it a few times, it's really easy, and it's obviously, basically, everything is the same, just different on each car, but the settings are the same. And you can do the injector coding, which is very common. You can do live data live reading of the injectors, you can correct the values of some of the vehicles in case your diesel is very loud, so you can um, reset the values in the injectors, the DPF regenerations, it, lots of stuff you can do on here, and activations as well. So, like I said, you can spend hours and hours searching about this and checking everything, and you're always gonna find something new. And once again, on Rostec, you will find all the helpful info that you need uh, when you're working on your car, or you can also register on the website and the forum they got, they're gonna provide the links for and see um, and communicate with other people that might have the same issue like you or they also provide when you buy obviously genuine tool, they also provide you a support with the tool as well. So this is something quick as well. If you're doing something specific, you can go just to select modules so you don't have to scan the whole vehicle. If you already know there's an uh, issue with the engine, so you just go in there and uh, so you got drivetrain, chassis, comfort, electronics, etc. Or you can just type in straight away the number and press go. So if you go to engine, it obviously will just open the engine and you can f read the fault code here, which obviously I haven't got one lucky enough. Um, you can clean it on there as well. So you got all the readings, the uh, measuring values as well. Uh, so if the car is running, you can check the engine RPM, you can check the injector values, you can check loads of things. There's loads of stuff that you go through, it, it takes ages. You can type in at the top box um, to make it easier. So basically for diagnosis purposes, this is really good to get all the live data from there. As you start the car up and obviously select the box that you want, it just comes up on the screen. 
Now, depending on what ECU you got, uh, what protocol you got at the top there, some of them you can actually go to measuring blocks on the older cars and it'll come up here with different menu and you can just scroll through it. Um, then you got obviously the basic settings, which is pretty good. Uh, this is where you can check exhaust gas recirculation and loads of different things in here. Uh, so DPF as well, adapt the EGR, but move the EGR if you're checking if it's moving or if it's seized, test loads of things. There's, like I said, for each car, there's going to be plenty of things that you can do on there. Um, you got the coding. Obviously, this is a bit more advanced. You definitely have to read about that. Uh, so it's the code, ECUs, and everything else. You got the adaptation there as well. So you select the channel. So you can adapt the injector value when you replaced one. Uh, particular filter statistics, ash mass, and everything else. There's plenty of things that you can do on there. Uh, so again, specific to the car. You got the output test here as well. So you can test some of the things like, again, EGR, exhaust flaps, glow plug, control modules, uh, the heaters, and etc. cetera, coolant pump. So you can activate and test them when it gives you an error if it's not working properly. And then get security access. This is to unlock the features. Um, now usually you get the message there with which one you should type in to unlock the certain features. Uh, so like you see 27971, so adaptation basic settings, enabling, so once you type that in and press do it, it enables you to do that. It's basically like a security feature on the vehicle, so you don't mess anything up. You have to type that in before you unlock it. But yeah guys, there's like plenty of stuff. If you go obviously into electrics or something else, you'll get completely different ABS. You get completely different options on there, obviously, and what you can measure and etc. So yeah, there's plenty of things to go through. You can spend ages in here, like I said, but today I just wanted to keep it short and just last thing I wanted to show you quickly is uh, the SRI reset, which is the service reset that we need to do, adaptations as well if you want. Uh, so once you scan the vehicle and got all the data out of it, it comes up with the option and you can select if it's the fixed or long one. Um, and obviously once you've selected it, a, you have to perform SRI and then it resets everything and shows you the new values at the end. I'm not going to do it because my car didn't have a service. And yeah guys, that's uh, pretty much it. Like I said, plenty of stuff that I can show you when I'm fixing the cars, but this was a good introduction video for you. Right guys, so here we are. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, it was a bit long, I do apologize, but I tried to squeeze everything that I can in there. Um, so yeah, let's just show you how to use it, all the basic stuff. I forgot any repair things that will definitely upload it on there for you. Like I said, don't forget to check this website. And once again, thank you very much for Marshalls Industrial for providing with the tool and giving us all the options to buy it from there with quick delivery, great customer support as well. And Ross Tech for all the obviously um, tools and support online, uh, which is great. Um, so yeah, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it, find it helpful. Please do subscribe, comment below and like the video. Um, like I said, very compact tool, very powerful. All you need is a laptop and obviously the registration completed. And yeah, then you can work on any Vagro cars uh, that you want uh, without any limits at all. Um, yeah, don't forget 5% discount is there for first 50 orders. And like I said, I do hope that you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.